We had no problems in qualifying to the Champions Group, 10 points clear of second place, 44 points out of a total of 54, and to improve our chances of getting promoted this season, I've signed a bunch of players, good players, better players than what we had here, and I'm confident now we're gonna get promoted. Hey, welcome back to Academica on FM24. We did sign a bunch of players, most of them on loan. You guys already know Gonzalo Loreiro, who we signed in November, great central defender. We actually paid 10k to get this guy on loan from uh, Mühen Gladbach, Kedder, a 26-year-old target forward. I really wanted a good target forward. He made his debut, but he didn't really impress. We have three players on loan from... FC Porto without paying their wages. I went to Braga because they are our affiliated club. They wanted us to pay their full wages, so fuck off. Porto didn't. So uh, we have Rodrigo Pineiro. He's uh, a wing back that can do a decent job on the left. He is better than Stitch and I believe better than Vitinha. Rodrigo Fernandez, a ball winning midfielder, decent, 22. Now I'm really excited about Wendell here, he's an advanced forward that's way better than this league. He's a leading second league and he has the potential to become a good Premier League player. I want this guy for next season if we get promoted. And we also have Romison here on loan from some team in Brazil. 27 year old Secundo Volante. I wanted a player that can feel good in that role and this guy does. He's not the best, but he's decent. And we actually offer the contract to a player. Lucas Campos, 27. He's going to be our first choice winger on the right. I gave him a contract until the summer because I'm thinking if we get promoted, we might attract better players than Campos here. And I don't think I want this guy to be my regular starter in the second league. Now we do have some other players here that my, some young players that my director of football found. He found them, he made the offer, but I had the last word if we signed them or not. And I decided to sign four of them. Diego Gallo, an 18 year old central midfielder who looks decent. Of course, they're only gonna help our under 19s. And who knows, maybe in the future, we're gonna make a profit on these guys, a fullback. Yeah, they're all 18 year old Brazilians. He has some potential here. Pereira, a ball winning midfielder and Angelo, central midfielder, actually a deep line playmaker with a balance of four. <laughs> yeah. Now I believe we actually improved the squad. We improved the first 11 a lot. Now I can trust my bench as well because we have Fausto, Victor or Tavares here who recently were in the first 11. So that's great. Yeah, we have a big squad now. Of course, some of them are made available for the under-19s. We still have a player on trial, Raul, who looks decent, but he wanted too much money, so he can fuck off. Anyway, uh, since the last time you were with me, is this the last time you were with me? I think so. Yeah, we've won 4-1 home against the hospital. Hugo Seco, Victor Viva Brescent, Obiora. A 1-1 one -one draw away at Sporting Covilla. These guys were predicted to finish first. Wow, Victor with the goal. And two 1-0 victories. Home against Alverca, Victor Gabriel. And uh, away at Atletico CP, Fausto from a penalty. If we take a look at our attendance, it's not great. I mean, we have almost 30,000 seaters. And around 2,000 people are showing every week. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we're in the third division. When we get to the Portuguese Premier League, we're probably gonna have a full stadium every single game. Now, in today's episode, we're gonna start the Champions Group with three matches, home against Sporting B, away at Caldas, and away at Braga B, who finished first in the North stage. Now, here's the first 11 for the game against Sporting. Alves in goal, Pinheiro, Rodriguez, Lureiro, Vitinha, Obiora, Romison, Seco, Lucas Campos, Kader as a target forward on attack, and Vandal. Yeah, let's hope we're gonna start with a win, but before that, I hope you guys will show me that you actually like the video and 
you'll uh, hit the like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already now let's do this okay here we go with Vitinha tries a ball to Kader Romison is there we lose the ball Hugo Seco keeps it alive Hugo Seco in the penalty area that's not a penalty but the referee gave it yeah who's gonna take it though Fausto is on the bench Kader the target forward come on dude I'm paying take hey to have you here for crying out loud he missed the fucking penalty unbelievable 13 minutes on the clock our target forward missed a penalty Obiora over the bar maybe Wendell should have taken it well that was the only highlight for this first half I'm disappointed I'm gonna give Kader just 15 more minutes then I'm bringing in the veteran striker Fausto yeah I know what you're thinking maybe I should have stayed with <laughs> the team that I had Fausto is coming in for Kader he's gonna play as a deep lying forward Lucas Campos is not doing too well Duarte Gill is coming in no not for Seco sorry fuck wait for yeah just like that Wendell is on a 6.4 but I'm gonna keep him Vitinha 6.3 okay Ferreira is coming in no highlights at all in the second half I mean we only had that missed penalty in the first half and that was it it's an even game if we look at the stats but I believe we should win the game 10 more minutes and uh, Carlos Alves is gonna take a goal kick long ball to Wendel there nice flick on Jill come on Jill Jill to Fausto the veteran striker has done it again come on dude 46 year old Fausto why in the hell am I paying 10k to have a target forward when I have this guy to save us once again we're in front with 10 more minutes to go Seco takes the corner it's another penalty and Fausto has a chance here to make it too I've let Hugo Seco on the right yeah maybe I should it's 2-0 yeah that's how you take a penalty yeah let's uh, sub off Seco and switch Ferreira with uh, Jill Pinheiro with a throw in 86 minutes on the clock we're approaching the final whistle we're gonna win the game hopefully to Ferreira here's uh, Pinheiro again Romisson takes his shot over the bar that's what a Secundo Volante should do take some cracking shots from outside the box but it was over the bar yeah 13 shots 6 on target we edged this game 2-0 victory nice work Fausto actually turned 37 and the guy came in to win us the game I have some good news as uh, Huao Resende resumed his full training you guys remember him he started the season really well before he got that nasty injury that kept him off field for six months leading Portuguese for division potentially Premier League standard he's gonna be on the bench today I'm gonna drop João Victor everybody's fit is well I'm gonna keep Kader for one more game and uh, if he doesn't do well in the next match I'm gonna start Fausto it's a rainy day we play away at Caldas 10 minutes on the clock we get our first highlight with Caldas controlling the ball we need to get the ball back we need to win this type of matches Caldas were not favorites they struggled to finish fourth to get into the champions group so we definitely have what it takes to win this match it's 1-0 for Caldas Tarzan the guy that I really wanted to sign but they wanted ridiculous money for him maybe once we get promoted if we get promoted that is we can sign Tarzan Wendell is uh, not doing too well he's anxious on a 6.5 it seems that for now they are controlling the game and uh, we need to change something yeah they're dominating us oh my word we're two nil down after 22 minutes and he has done it again I'm uh, gonna push forward a little bit yeah let's play for set pieces because that always works counter press I don't know if we can do it but we're gonna try yeah let's do this let's get stuck in here we go boys a throw in Pinheiro come on dude 26 minutes on the clock we didn't have a single shot Pinheiro to Wendell over the bar for crying out loud he's anxious 
I was expecting so much more from our strikers. Anyway, we're 2 0 down at half time. What was that? What the hell, dude? Joao Resende getting there. 55 minutes on the clock. Duarte Gil is coming in for Lucas Campos. Kader takes a free kick. Okay, Gil. Gil does well. Gil! Oh, good opportunity. In the next game, Gil is gonna start from uh, the first minute. Hugo Seco takes the corner. Obiora over the bar. Yes, I believe we're gonna lose this game, even though we still have half an hour remaining. Here comes uh, the superstar Fausto for our target forward and Fernandez for Obiora. And that's about it. I know I still have one more sub. I'm not gonna make it. Or maybe I should sub off Hugo Seco, who's getting tired. Yeah, let's do that. Here's Gil to Romison. 10 more minutes to go. We desperately need a goal right now. Come on. It's a good cross for. Oh my word, Gil, here's the post. He looked really dangerous since he came in. Yeah, we're in stoppage time. We lost the game 2-0. I don't believe it, but it happened. Only one shot on target for crying out loud. I'm going to scratch my arms. I'm embarrassed. Well, we're probably going to get smashed by Braga B. I made three changes. I brought in Fernandez and I dropped Romison. He's going to play the ball-winning midfielder role. And Obiora back in his secundo volante duty. Jill and I dropped Lucas Campos and I dropped Kader and I brought in Fausto. Resende is still on the bench, he's not fully fit, he's probably gonna play in the second half. 38 minutes on the clock, we get our first highlight with Braga in control of the ball. It's a poor game so far. Yes, a heavy touch and we get the ball back. Nicely done Vitinha, Hugo Seco now, good ball there for Hugo Seco. Hugo Seco runs with the ball, 45 year old. Just runs with it, gets a good cross for Fausto. Couldn't get to it. And the chance for a counter-attack now for Braga. Jill did all right. Oh my word, what a ball. What a ball. Are you joking me? We're 1-0 down after a sensational pass from this guy, Sosa. My word, that was like world class. Yeah, we should have defended better here. Yeah, after we were so dominant in the first stage of the season, I was expecting so much more. I thought we were gonna be favorites. We're not doing well. Come on, dude. I was expecting so much more from the likes of Bendel or Kader. Didn't happen. Not yet, anyway. Two poor games. Well, the first one wasn't that great until Fausto came in. Yeah, there's something wrong with us. I don't know what. I don't know what to change. I'm not going to change the tactic. We're 2-0 down. Oh boy, yeah. Let's make substitutions. Let's make substitutions. Resende is coming in for Bendel. Kader for Lurenko. Lucas Campos for Chill for 6.2. Pereira for Seco. Yeah, I'm going to make the fifth change as well. Who do we sub off? Pinheiro. Yeah, for Ferreira, switch him around with Vitinha. 72 minutes on the clock. Come on, dudes. Gonzalo Loreiro moving forward with the ball. Kader, good ball to Campos. Lucas Campos, come on, dude. He's first. Come on, that's it. There's still plenty of time to equalize. Come on, dudes. We're staying attacking. Let's go. We have another highlight. Kader, Kader, whatever. Ferreira. Cross it, dude. Back to Vitinha. Come on, dude. Obiora. Obiora! Oh, so close. So unlucky. It would have been a great goal. Vitinha takes the corner, but we don't get to see it. That's the end of the highlight. Only two shots. Four shots for Braga. They controlled the game. They had the ball. Time is flying by. Come on, dude. Okay, we got a highlight. Pereira to Gonzalo. Here's Pereira again. Or Sico if you want to. Rodrigo, Lucas Campos, come on, dude. Lucas Campos took, oh, a good opportunity for Kader. He's playing well. He's on a 7.2. Yeah, it's over. We lost the game 2-1. That's too bad. We actually came back into the game late, but it was a little bit too late. Gonzalo Loreiro on a 6.3. And our goalkeeper. Yeah, so next episode, oh right, the EU Fintech Day is going to be an excellent one. Of course, because it's our first one. I expect at least one of them to 
be an elite talent for our level that's probably gonna be in april i'm not sure i don't want to play these guys again i will uh, look to google for help to see when uh, the youth intake day takes place hopefully it's gonna happen around here and maybe we only get to see braga again and play these other two matches all right that's about it thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it even though i didn't because we lost two matches hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys for the next one